am bringing you guys along with me today. First of all, I miss you guys, and I haven't been on here because life has gotten like so heckin' crazy. And honestly, my mental health has kind of been like a little down. And I know I did a video of this recently trying to get, you know, me feeling a bit better. Well, we're doing it again because things get stressful and on top of it, if you're a diabetic, it can get a little hectic. Okay, so there's been two very specific reasons why I have not been posting for a hot second. And I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do today to fix it. So today, we are doing a couple of things because my mental health has been down and I, I don't like that. I like, I like feeling happy. So one thing I wanna do today is put myself first and my diabetes and one thing that I really wanna try to do is eat better and start exercising and I feel if I can start exercising that might be a good way to start just making me feel better and healthier and I don't know. I got a book and I ain't a reader. Honestly, I've heard about this book before I started posting online. So I'm using a pen to open this right now, but I've heard people get incredible results with this book and I wanna know if you have positive feedback, negative feedback, if you've heard this book, if you've tried it, I wanna know. Mastering Diabetes, the revolutionary method to reverse insulin resistance permanently in type one, type 1.5, what is type 1.5? Type two, pre-diabetes and gestational diabetes. My problem is gonna be reading it. You know that other book I showed you guys, Think Like a Pancreas? I read it for one, for 10 minutes. The first chapter says, this book can save your life. And I think I kind of need that right now. I can't do the eating everything and managing my diabetes right now because I don't have enough time to focus on my diabetes. So I feel like if I can change my diet where it's less, you know, does this make sense? I just wanna eat better to make my diabetes management easier, okay? I'm still gonna eat pizza. Well, I'll see what the book says, if I can't cheat or not. That's one thing that we are doing to better ourselves. Number two, I have not been exercising, like I've told you about. I'm gonna go to kickboxing today, and I haven't done that since I have moved into this place. We're gonna get our boxing gloves on, we're gonna go, I'm gonna take Teddy out for a walk, and then I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna get ready for kickboxing, check my blood sugar, make sure we're good before we exercise, and then we're gonna see what my blood sugar is like after I go to kickboxing, because it's quite a hit workout. I have the best pink boxing gloves, but they're in the back seat of my car. And yesterday, I looked in my back of my car and there was a huge cobweb. Maybe I should walk, but it's so hot. I've got my black and white boxing gloves, which is good. And then I'm just gonna change into like a sports bra or something. I'm gonna go put on a sports bra. This is the kickboxing fit. Oh my God, my camera's gonna fall. Also, I picked up my broken camera the other day. You guys remember that? Yeah, I picked it up. They said they bought it for me for $65. It was over a thousand bucks. I don't understand. This thing stays on so well. This is all, honestly the best thing for working out too, especially kickboxing. Oh, oh. What was I saying? I forget. We're working out, so I'm gonna show you what I need to bring with me. PDM, very important. Let's make sure it's charged, 50%. I am so excited to get the Omnipod 5 when it comes available in Canada, because I've heard there's like an active mode. Maybe I'll be active by the time it gets here. So, we need my testing kit. My boyfriend picked me up a brand new bottle of strips, so we're gonna put that in there. I need my wallet. My wallet, shit my MasterCards in there so they can take all my money. I also got a Costco membership, and I got my little picture taken. And my blood sugar was going, my blood sugar was going low then too. Does the sun, cause I would feel like the sun could make my blood sugar goes higher because of dehydration or whatever, but at the same time, like heat makes me go low. Like if I am in a bath, I find that it like can make me go lower. I have a lot of questions. So if anybody is up to comment today, feel free to go ahead. I wanna say more about how this editor is gonna have to go through a lot of this messy footage, but it's, it's really awkward talking about the editor when he's gonna be editing this, so again. Hello. Ooh, do you know what it would be perfect for working out? A Gatorade, and I don't have Gatorade Zero, so I could constantly just be kind of sipping that if I start to go low and I look so sporty. And I picked a random color. We got red. <laughs> okay, okay, I gotta go get in the car. Bye, guys. Yeah, I'll be honest, you don't think I get my name This is honest, say that I've been feeling alone And I'm not, yeah, staying up and out of the chance And you got Peter up, the Goku Chani, I'm not going to die Now I'm strong, when it do my head, you're up here But it's raw, she got up to go hard, think I gotta go You ain't even gotta tell me twice, so you're crazy Funny how you win my life, you ain't here, you ain't here, you ain't here, you ain't here, you ain't here Okay, so I did kickboxing, I did not follow up after And I have a couple updates here On my way to kickboxing, I was 
went into my car to see if that cobweb was still there. Yeah, it got bigger. So I got out of my car and I was like, we are walking to kickboxing. And actually it was not as long as a walk that I thought it was only like five to 10 minutes. So I think I'm gonna walk every single time from now on because why the heck not? It went pretty smoothly. You can see in one clip that I did run away from the station I was on because I was getting anxiety so much in my head that I was going low, but hey, I was able to film. I got in there and I was like, hey, um, I do YouTube. Can I film? And, and he was like, yeah, like he was like, absolutely go for it. And then my camera died in the middle right before I was doing something with the trainer, which was actually going to be super cool. And he was like, you can film, you can film me if you want. And I was like, no, 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 my camera died. I really wanted to, I promise. But yeah, after doing the skip rope, I was like, I'm done. And I want to run out that door. But he would be like, nope, keep going, keep going. That's what I like about kind of going to something like this. I kind of just need somebody to push me through. So my blood sugar after that whole situation, it actually ended up going really high. So I, I immediately brought my insulin back to normal. I walked back home and it was going up, up, up. I kind of want to learn a bit more about how exercise and what type of workouts bring my blood sugar up, which ones bring them down, what I should eat before, um, what should I be eating after. I've never been a huge exercise person. So this is a very new area for me with my diabetes. My Omnipod just expired. Should we change my all right, y'all, I have partnered with a really cool app. <laughs> for this video because I am all about making diabetes a little more fun if I can and that is what this app is doing so this app is called happy Bob I've been using it for a little while now and pretty much you collect stars throughout the day as you're in range so as I'm a little bit of a competitive person I like that and it also just kind of kicks me to get in a little more range so this is kind of what it looks like right now I'm 8.4 you can see I'm starting to collect some stars as I'm in range and I've collected 10 out of 30 stars today so I need to step it up this app is really fun you can choose different people on here to give you notifications throughout the day. For example, I was high the other night and it said, why am I the only one around here who cares about your blood glucose? I can't do this myself, you know. Hello, don't ignore me. And then I was like, okay, it is time to take some insulin. Or when I was low the other night and it said, do you have the number to your endo? I'm just gonna call him and see if he agrees with me that you're too low. And then when you are in range, you get the most supportive messages coming through. It just makes it a little more fun. There's also a feature on there. For example, if you're somebody that has a lot of diabetic friends, you can create a group where you're all trying to collect stars as much as you can for being in range. I mean, everyone would like this. I like this. I feel like a lot of kids would like this too. So I just wanted to bring this up to you guys if this is something you're interested in and it connects to your CGM. So I think it's a really cool opportunity for people to just make a little more, you know, get a little more fun out of their diabetes. For example, when I get the notifications with my boyfriend, we think they're really funny. So I really like them. He's gonna get the app on his phone too. And I really like it. And it can also connect to your Apple Watch which I need to charge. I'm gonna put a link in my bio if you guys want to download the app. Um, I'm not getting anything out of that. I'm just putting that out there for you guys. And now let's get back to the video. <laughs> Elko swabs, we got my insulin. Last but not least, in Omnipod. One, two, three. Clean this little guy up. I know I talked about the Mastering Diabetes book in the beginning. I still haven't a, a chance to read the first chapter. This is the thing is I want, I need to order groceries today. So I kind of want to like get into it, but I feel like I, I have to read it first to figure out what I need to eat to, to do that. So if I have time, I'm going to read a chapter. I kind of want to hear feedback because I know this is like a very popular book in the diabetes world. Ba -bam. Wanna know a funny story? Well, it's not that funny. So when I was on my other insulin pump, the sight changes, you have to, you pull it back and you put the sight in you, the needle comes out, but it puts, you know, it switches it because it only keeps the little tube or the cart cannula in Yeah, That's the word, cannula. So my dad, for some reason growing up, thought that the needle stayed in me, which most people do. My boyfriend even thought so until like the other day. And I was like, do I just not explain stuff well? So the needle comes out of me, it switches it with like, for example, I don't want to show you the nasty part, but there's a little cannula in here that it switches out, but the needle has to go in to get it into my body. Anyways, so like I said, my dad thought that the needle stays in me and we were sitting on the couch having a little family night and uh, one of my old sights, because I had to do a sight change that day, was sitting on the counter and my dad is a bit of a joking dude and uh, he, he grabbed it and he was joking around who my stepmom was at the time and uh, went like that on our knee, there was a needle in there. Uh, yeah, so that was a learning experience for all of them. Okay, I need my PDM. We're gonna get this out. So it's going to expire soon. I'm just gonna press deactivate pod because it is obviously off of my body. And then 
we are gonna set up a new pod. I haven't even been able to tell you guys about the fact that I went to Omnipod headquarters yet. Omnipod sent me to Boston, like I've talked about slightly over on my YouTube shorts, but that experience was like over the heckin' top. Like it was just the most amazing thing. I wanna go into it a bit more, but I got to see how an Omnipod was made. It was crazy. We have an amazing team of people that are working to make our days, our lives easier every single day. And every single person there was just incredible. And I had to do a speech in front of over 300 people. Over 300 people? But I did it. I did it. Now I feel like I can conquer anything. They gave me stuff. I'm gonna show you guys what the Omnipod actually looks like. It's really heckin' cool. I got presented this award, which is really cool, from Omnipod, from the day I was there, April 14th. This is what I picked out um, when I was actually watching the Omnipods get manufactured and everything. That was so cool. You know when you watch like the show How It Was Made or something? Like my dad used to always have that on. That It was just so cool. I was walking in, there's the, everything, doing all this stuff. That's what it looks like inside. That's where we fill up the insulin. And uh, that's where the batteries are. Oh. Oh no, oh no. I think something just fell in my heat register. Anyways, and then, I'm so scared of that, I'm accidentally gonna use this one because I don't trust myself. I made this pod. We walked step by step, did it all. So cool. It beeped, which means that we have over 80 units of insulin. That's when it beeps. Then it's like, yeah, we know that it's in here and then it triggers it to go, yeah. Okay, we gotta put this Omnipod on. We're gonna whip off this thing. Okay, we're gonna take off the stickies so that we can stick it to our body. And uh, I need another alcohol swab. We're doing my hip because my hips don't lie. Got that squished on. And then all I do is press start and then the needle comes out, which is not that scary. I'm gonna have no reaction. Hmm, that one hurt. And then I always have to make sure, for example, on this one, once it's inserted, a pink square appears. So it'll ask you on the screen like this, if the pink square is there. We have a whole other thing to talk about too. I am helping out Diabetes Canada this year, um, and I'm going to Vancouver on June 9th to walk. I'm modeling it up. I'm modeling up to this event that Diabetes Canada is in. It's their pump couture event. Um, it's the first time they're doing it in Vancouver, and um, pretty much, well, it aligns with everything that I push out here, and that's raising awareness for diabetes, ending, you know, stereotypes, negative stereotypes and misinformation that's out there on diabetes, and at the same time, they're raising money um, to send more kids to camp, diabetic camp. And I did that when I was younger. I was really hesitant to go at first when my dad wanted to put me in a diabetic camp because I was like, it was my diabetes. I didn't really want to think about it that much. I remember going to the camp and I came out and my attitude towards my diabetes was very, very different. And I think a majority, a big part of that was the fact that I was surrounded by diabetics and I felt normal and I could relate. And I had people there that were really helpful and I came out very, very healthy. My attitude towards diabetes was so different. I got in the car, like I remember getting picked up and I was so excited that I was like, I'm excited to take care of myself. Like, I don't know, it was very motivating. And also just having diabetics around me for the first time. Like I rarely, rarely had that. I had a couple diabetic friends, but it wasn't, wasn't like that. That was a whole other experience. So I feel like it would be really good for kids and they help kids go to those camps too. So that's why a big part of why I am modeling at this event. And so I am gonna have a link on my page if you do want to donate money. If you can't, that's totally okay. I'm going to personalize it soon and get it up there. Um, I have a link right now if you do want to donate money towards it. And then you can also buy tickets to come to the show. We're, we're doing tickets. If you live in Vancouver, come and I'll come see me. I'd love to see some of you guys there. I think they're around 70 to $80. And again, all funds are going to all these good causes. I'll put it in my link tree, my little donation page for my model. I'm going to raise money. And you might see some videos coming up about that because I just, I want to help them out. And I think it is what a very good thing. Things, so Yo, I have an update for ya. I'm getting a new endocrinologist. Why is that good? Because the last one made me cry. And I, I didn't appreciate that. Definitely there's a lot of tough love I find with endocrinologists. And I understood that as a kid. As an adult, I had to find one, you know, myself. Found a diabetic doctor. And I've talked about how I've had points where I wasn't taking care of myself well. And there was a lot of judgment from the endocrinologist. And when I finally, before I got on here and I decided to really take care of myself, got to my endo, there was nothing not a lot of support there. It was a lot of judgment. There was a lot of stuff. I, I want to get another opinion from another endo, but he did look at my leg and he said, you know, you have some nerve damage starting. But the way he said it too, he was like, looks like you have nerve damage starting. Walked out of the room, 
came back and said, I don't know how to put it. It was not, it was not kind and not the kind of way you wanna hear some news. I've been avoiding going back and I've been doing a lot on my own, figuring a lot of myself and I'm getting a little tired. So I hopped on, I don't even have a family doctor. I don't have any kind of doctor right now. So I have uh, in Canada where I live, we have uh, something called a TELUS app. And I got on there and I said, you know, I need a referral to a new doctor. Everyone I talked to said, you're not gonna be able to get a new endocrinologist. There's, there's not. I hopped on the app and they said, oh yeah, no problem. We're gonna get you one. And I was like, okay, awesome. I got a call that day that I got back from kickboxing and it was like, this is awesome. I felt like I was doing good for myself. I got a good call out of it. And they said, you know what? We've been trying to call you for weeks, but it looked, turned out we had the wrong number. But the benefit of that is they booked me in at that time for a September appointment. So I know that's a long way up, but that's just the fact of the endocrinologist and how busy they are and they work hard for us. So another thing about my diabetes management is, but I have a huge fear of diabetic complications, which is why I'm really trying to keep myself as healthy as I can. So I feel like once I have all these good doctors around me, I'm gonna start to feel better and a little more safer about all this stuff. Overall, again, this video is me just trying to be healthy. Okay, after today, we're gonna go low carb, but look at that. It's beautiful, it is a spicy chicken burger. One good piece of advice though, when I first met my other endo, the one that I've recently quit, I remember one of my first appointments with him was like, I don't know if you guys have a bin four where you are, the, the burger chain, but I was, he was like, so do you like bin four? And I'm like, I love bin four, I love my chicken burger. It's like my Chipotle chicken burger. I'm like obsessed with it. And he was like, so next time order it with a lettuce bun. And I was like, hmm. I might try to implement stuff like that. Okay, I'm eating a burger. How can we make this a little more manageable if not diabetes? Maybe we can swap out the bun with lettuce because I think there's still a lot of carb in the, like the chicken burger itself because it's breaded too. So I don't need all that carb. Once I also meet with my endo in September, this will be really helpful. And I'm also going to be getting a referral for a dietitian. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with all of this. We can get all the advice we can get and see what the best route is. So right now I'm gonna take 60%, which is 2.4 units. Uh, the extended bolus, I'm gonna take 40% over a 1.5 a 1.5 hour duration. It's a total of 5.35 units and then I'll get an additional 1.35 units for the actual correction of my blood sugar. And it now says that it is starting to deliver the bolus and then it will keep that line there and say like, hey, we're, we've, you've had, it's slowly still given insulin as you eat. I love you guys. I'll see y'all soon. And like I said, I'm gonna add that link to the Pump Couture video at the end of this video if I can. Um, but if not, you can also look up Pump Couture Diabetes Canada and then you can get more information on that too. There's a lot of other shows across Canada too, but I just wanna give you that if you're interested in going or, or so on. Who knows, maybe you can help be a part of the show. Okay, I'm signing off now. See ya. <laughs>